make a video on what it's like living with a husky in an apartment. Is it hard? What do they do all day? What do you do when you gotta leave the house? And do they run in the house? I wrote down some notes. Do it maybe help you out? Because I know I, <laughs> I looked up a whole bunch of dog videos before moving into the apartment. I mean, I was still gonna move into it, but I just wanted some help, I guess. There goes the squeaking. Anyways, so the first question, is it hard to have a dog in an apartment? I think it kind of is. You really have to commit to it because it's a lot of work, especially since you're not gonna be having a backyard. You're not gonna be having somewhere where you can just leave your dog in the backyard. I mean, who would wanna do that anyways? I think if you really wanted to have a dog in an apartment, I think you could. It's just, it's not for most people. It's gonna take up a lot of time. From your, if you're not willing to do that, I wouldn't commit. I think it is manageable to live with a dog in an apartment. You just have to put the time in and make sure you fulfill the animal's needs, as in feeding them, get the correct amount of exercise in, because if not, your dog's just gonna be cooped in and, I'm sorry about that, he's squeaking away. Look at that. Next question, what does he do during the day? So. For the most part, I'm with him all day. If I'm not working, he likes to run around with his toys. He likes to do this, a lot of squeaking. So he does like the squeaking toys. Another thing I like to buy him are chewing toys. That keeps him um, occupied for a good amount of time. And if you need to do something, shower or whatever you need to do, you can just keep him occupied with that. <laughs> you gonna squeak? Are you gonna squeak? Are you gonna squeak, Luke? Look at him. Are you gonna squeak? What are you gonna do? <laughs> Last question, does he run around the house? He does, yeah, he gets hyper sometimes. He gets bursts of energy, but as he starts to do that, it's time for a walk. It's been a little too long without a walk. Is it hard to find an apartment that allows huskies? A lot of the apartments have breed restrictions or weight limitations. What type of exercises tires them out? I noticed that when I take Luke on hikes, he's knocked out for like the next two to three hours or just a really long time. He gets really exhausted. He likes going on hikes though. He's super, he's crazy. <laughs> Dog parks also, they're super great because there's a lot of space, they just get to run around. Sometimes there's dogs, they interact, they get super tired. The other place that I like to take them to is the beach. There's a lot of space, he likes to swim, he just runs around, gets his energy out, he's running like there's no tomorrow. Some things that help me with having a dog in an apartment is toys, lots of them. So your dog's gonna be indoors, they wanna have something to do. Another thing that helped me with having a dog in an apartment is a crate. Even when I was still at the house, I crate trained him when he was younger because I was going to school and I mean, sometimes there isn't anybody to watch your dog. So crate training was amazing for that. Sometimes when I need to go to work or I need to run errands, I'll just leave him in there. He already knows the drill. I'm like, Luke, go to your cage and he just goes in there. So that, um, he could be in there for a few hours and not have any accidents. Most of the time when I come home, he's just sleeping either way. So I am gonna insert some clips of where I keep his crate, where his beds are, where does he eat. So I wanna show you guys Luke's cage. It's about, I think like 42 inches. I got him a bigger, oops, sorry Luke. I got him a bigger cage because he outgrew his last one, but pretty much he just has his blanket in there he has a few toys he really likes this one it's kind of like tug of war chewing toy almost what else does he have in there he just has a bone an old squeaky toy that used to squeak um what else rope frisbees he has dog Ritos, more Kong toys, and yeah, he really likes this one too, as you can tell. But yeah, that's his cage, and that's Luke. We keep it in the room, I don't like to keep it in the living room. 
because sometimes we have guests over and sometimes we need them in the cage. There you go. The beast woke up. This is where I usually feed Luke. Here's his bowl. He has his bed out here. When it's sunny, he just likes to stare at people outside. I mean, through those little cracks. So that's his bed. He also has another bed in the living room. For when we're hanging out here, he just lays there or he'll play with his toys. He doesn't really like this bed. It's like an egg bed, but every time he steps on it, he thinks there's like things in there. Yep, that's his favorite Christmas toy that he received. It's these sticky, I mean squeaky Christmas bones. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you have any other questions, just leave them down in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you. I'm kind of new to this thing. And this is my first video. Bye.